So your missed shot or your dominant shot pattern is a hook. In order for you to start practicing efficiently and start improving, the first thing you need to do is understand the impact laws and how that relates to your shot. So there's two laws I'd like you to remember. Should we call, call them rules? The first of these is that it's the club face angle at the moment of impact that determines the starting direction of the shot. So for example, if the club face is closed, angle left of the target at impact, the ball will start left. If the club face is square, angled at the target at the moment of impact, the ball will start straight. And if the club face is op open at the moment of impact, the ball will start to the right. The second rule is that it's the club path at the moment of impact in relation to the club face that will determine the curve on the ball. So let's say, let me give you three examples of that. Let's say the club face is square at the moment of impact and the club path is to the left of the club face. That will make the ball curve to the right. Opposite being if the swing path is to the right of the club face, the ball will curve to the left. And lastly, if the swing path is in line in the same direction as the club face, that means the ball is going to fly straight with no curve to the flight. Now in order for you to understand your shot, the hook shot, with a little bit more detail, let's, let's take a closer look at the moment of impact. Let's take a closer look at the hook shot and how these two rules we've been learning relate to hitting a hook. So we know with the hook, the ball's starting relatively on line, in line with your target. That's telling us that the club face is pointing in line with your target. It's square to the target at the moment of impact. But then the ball's curving to the left. That's telling us that the swing path is to the right side of the club face. How much will determine how much the ball is going to curve? If it's just a little to the right, the ball will be curving a little to the left. If it's a lot to the right, the ball will be starting on line and then curving a lot to the left. So the hook shot, club face on the target, swing path to the right side of the club face. This is a nice picture illustrating the moment of impact of a hook. So you can see the red line is pointing at the target, almost square to the target line, 0 0.3 degrees to the right, with the swing path to the right side of the club face, 9.9 .9 degrees to the right side. So this ball would start on target and then curve to the left. As I say, a good example of a hook shot, ball starting on target, hooking to the left. So now you understand why you hit the hook shot. Your club face is squared impact and your swing path is to the right side of the club face. It's your swing path is the problem. If we make your swing path more online, the ball will start in the same place and have less curve in the air. So I'm recommending to you in your practice time, when you're working on your swing, you need to look at ways of reducing the, path, the swing path into out and getting the swing path more online. If you do that, the ball will start more online with less curve in flight. As always, thanks for watching. This was a video from my app, Complete Golf Coach. For more information on the app and how to download it, head over to the website, completegolfcoach.com. If you like my videos to helping you out your game, you can also hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with my latest lessons.